but the title of this workshop is Beyond the Mind. So we will communicate from the heart. But one of the things I want to let clear before, mind and art are not separate, of course, are one. Because what I saw, <coughs> when someone understands that I have to go beyond the mind, start uh, negate the mind and start to move in from the heart. But the, true, but the true heart is integration from mind and heart. So in this moment we are speaking. We can we could think that we are on the mind level because we are speaking. But this is not. We are integral here. We are all of us, all our bodies are here in this moment. And also there is a field among us working with us. And this is something that we can realize only if you are aware of. So we can say that biotrans energetics is a, a body of technologies to be integral. I say here, now, and all around. I invite you to close the eyes. And please forget any technique of meditation you know. We only should recognize that we are at home. What does it mean realize that we are at home? Nothing to do. No goal to reach. No problem to solve. You are already as you have to be. You can disappear to everything appear in your mind on your body. Choose to realize you are at home. To understand the essence to be at home, we only can use metaphors. As you are a mirror, and everything is reflecting in you, but is not you.
let everything where it is don't want to change nothing. You are on the right place and everything is in his own right place. At home you can feel the sound of your silence. Nobody can do this for you. Take this responsibility. Like a fish on the sea, like a bird on the sky, you always are at home. You are at the source of the life. Zero, you are at zero. If something bothers you, you can say zero. Let it where it is and don't choose it. Your own rhythm. We are not doing any practice. We are just be aware that we are at home. So we can open our eyes and nothing change. Nice. Open eyes, nothing is changing. You are at home even when you open your eyes. Try to be aware of what happens when you open your eyes. The world outside start calling you to go out of your home. And we always have to do this sort of reset, sort of zero, to be aware that we are at home even when I am in contact with you. I should be aware that I am in contact, that I am at home, even when I am in contact with you. This is a very important point. Because maybe we meditate for one hour or two, or in the cave or in nature, when we enter in the world, and there are this gap. Should have not be difference between when we meditate, when we do any practice, and when we live. Any moment can be aware that we are at home. This is possible. This is the good news. It's possible. To do that. We need to have a map, a good map. 
I always start with these when I when I teach. This zero. This is a metaphor of everything. Of the cosmos, of the essence, of the self, of the unity, or the love. Everything happens here. We are at home. There is no way not to be here. If you are a religious person, you can call it God. If we are shaman, we can call it Great Spirit. The, the Hindu, the Veda tradition, call it Atman. Taoism could call it Tao. Or shamans also call, call it Nagual. So we are always at the essence. So we are always at the essence. Any methodology, any technology, also biotransfer energetic, the the methodology they are offering to you, should help us to be aware of it. Anything we do should help us to be aware of it. If not, it's not a way with a, a heart. We have to do our part to be aware of it. If I think that when I, do, when I am doing a practice, I am doing a practice also, or only, I forget that I always let anatomy. Our mind works in this way. But this is happening here. So, Everything is happening now. We are always related, yes. We are me, you, and the world. We always are in this. This is the unit, the unit of our experience. Anything we do, we are me, you, and the world. How can you leave the world outside? I call these trance. To me, trance is the unit of the experience. So it is what I trance is the unit any experience is me, you, and the field. 
If the unit of the experience is me, you and the world, how can I leave the world outside or leave you outside of me? How can in this moment leave you or you outside me? Or the field, or that we are in Beijing, how we can leave this out outside? But we can flow with. But we have to master this trance. We have to master this. This is, is my epistemology, you know, the map to work with. Reassuming. Of course, this is a vision of the world. I don't say that this is the truth, but this is the way I see the world. We are all immer merged into the self, the essence, the everything. The essence or self. But we always have a little, a part of this self, of course. We can get the self in total. Essence. Essence or self. Depending on of our state of consciousness, we can open. Me, you, I can be aware of you as, as a person. I can be aware of you as a soul. I can be aware of you of your complexity. I can be aware of you, me, you, and as I can be aware me you as and the, the city and so no more I expand my consciousness more I am aware of a part of this essence. Well, <coughs> But this is everything uh, dynamic and interrelate. So I can say, no, you know me, I don't want to listen to you. This is impossible. I can do something with you. But I can't let you be apart, that we are all interconnected, you know? So we can do something that respect the law of the dynamic. To use something that you know well, I would guess, the Tao. We can respect the Tao or not. If I do the right things, I will be in harmony with you. If I don't respect the flow, I enter in this harmony with you. About shaman.
This is a map for shamanism. Work the field, work with the interconnection. Uh, there are a lot of persons in Europe, <coughs> maybe here also, that uh, come with uh, fancy colors uh, and uh, collars and uh, altars and uh, to do shamanism. You know? But if I am shaman, if I am powerful, if I am use all these technologies to heal you, you ever will be will will need me. So if I use these techniques, these very beautiful techniques to heal you, then you will need me. I have the power, and I heal you, and you have to come to me. I have the power, I have the technology, I heal you, so you have to come to me. And then there is a difference when we are. With me and where you are outside. So it will cause a kind of me and you in the outside world that I am the expert. I want to reduce to use the structures of shamanism, the essence of the shamanism. You know, I am the healing. My healing method is to use the essence of the shamanism to our world here and now. I want to use the essence of the shamanism to our world here and now, everywhere. So I will. 我会疗愈的时候是只有让他那个来找到他的那个本质的东西，当场现在。If you, if you have, for example, if you understand this, you, you will be shaman. 如果你你理解了这个模式，那你自己就是沙满沙满了。Because shaman do exactly this. Go in the place where there is the force of healing to take the force and bring the force together into the field. 所以，去那个森林也好啊，啊，去找这个、这个、这个你的这个关系，跟一体的关系，然后你回来拿到生活里面来，啊，你就是上满了。We call this a field, but we could also call spirit. 也可以把这个称作叫做灵性。So working with the field, we work with spirits. 所以，跟场在工作的时候，就是我们在跟灵性在工作。Why? We can say that our work is shamanic. Why do we say our work is shamanic? Shamanic. 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 We say that we are to the self, and the unit of the experience is me, you, and the field. Okay. We say that we are to the self, and the unit of the experience is me, you, and the field. Okay. We say that we are to the self, and the unit of the This means that there are no boundaries. We are flowing in in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We are flowing in this interrelated world. This means that we are not bound. We say that shaman is the master of the ecstasy, the, the master of the flowing in the ocean of the consciousness. We say that shaman is the master of the flowing in the ocean of the consciousness. We can say that we can recognize this self as manifestation of different archetypes. We can choose depending on the tradition. The name of the archetype. We can choose depending on the tradition. The name we give to these archetypes. We can give them a name. We can give them a name. 传统给他们一个名字啊，当做是一个原型。For example, earth, fire, 木星啊，土 ，water, 水 ，salt water and fresh water, 咸水和淡水 ，fresh water.
and uh, wood mm. and uh, metal. rock, rock, metal, and so all of these are manifestation of the self in different ways. If I recognize the difference, I can master all them. I can embody them. For example, if I work with the energy of the water, the sea water, Yes, any archetype has qualities. For example, sea water has the quality of the fluidity, the regeneration, the sensibility, the creativity. If I enter in contact with these qualities and I am attached or angry and the flow of the water comes. But I am holding something. The force of the water comes and I face it with holding something. Uh, I have to choose or let go and let enter the flowing. So you take a show, Jaro Ro wash and don't Jaro wash and don't Jaro wash and Jaro wash and do the jam to the now. What he's trying to do, she'll be clean like a high shade of the Liu Dong the Ling Xing Liu Dong the Ping Zhi like like a wall like a wall like a wall. If I let the force enter, I have to heal my personal history. So, For example, I had a mother very weak and a strong father saying to me, you have to fight into the life, if not, you get nothing. I developed a personality of warrior, but I don't let go. So he will develop such a very, 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 I have to face my father and say, okay, father, this is you, not me. And so, and after working with my personal history, I get the archetype, I get the pureness of the quality of the archetype, the spirit. So integrating the different quality of the different forces, I integrate myself, I realize myself, my personal self, in harmony with the self. So I want to put all the different qualities in the different qualities. What did you say? After you, we, 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 Personality. We have the original personality. How we can experience the archetype? 
With our bodies. Not just my mind. For example, if I read the book of Jung, I read archetypes. <coughs> or if I read the Greek mythology, I read about archetypes, but just in mental. So we don't use our body, not just our mind. Uh, Jung talks about the mind, many of the Greek myths, many of the in our maps, the, our bodies are at least five. The physical body. Energetical body. Emotional body. Mental body. And spiritual body. So we should have an experience with all our bodies. We should experience the archetype with all our bodies. My sensations. My deep sensation, my emotion, my mind, my visions, my images, my remembering, my insight or visions, dreams. We work with all these. Together. There is no difference. There is no difference in the body, in the emotion and in the vision. Are together. Only my mind can separate. I can be aware of the movement and forget the emotion or forget the vision that this movement called to my mind. But if I am in the zero, I am in all these together. This last map, last map say to us, we do the experience, I call this organismic triage. Thinking, feeling, and acting. Asking. This means, this means that I enter in this world interconnected, uh, feeling something. The feeling is everything is coming inside. The acting is everything I am putting out. And the thinking is the process of elaboration. I receive, I elaborate, and I put out. So, it's important that I master my feeling, my acting, and my thinking. This is the mind. Or the states of consciousness. Because there are several ways of thinking. Several ways, several states of consciousness. We just say one, I can think or I can observe my thinking. This is a big difference. If I just think or I am observe, not the meditation, the awareness. So any practice we will do, we will try to be aware of the feeling, the acting, and the thinking. I say, we will do mudras. Mudras means from 
in the Veda tradition, the mudras, we can say, are movements of power. As, for example, Tai Chi, no? Our mudra of power. Power because we do movement with an intent. Mantras, the mantra is the sound, but the sound in a broad sense, the sound of my soul, all the feeling are mantras. The sound of my feeling, what I feel. And the yantra, yantra are the mental images. So what I see with my mind. When you say acting, do you, do you mostly refer to the physical action or not exactly the idea of doing something? Or the Everything, the, the output. I can express an emotion, I can send a thing into you, it's everything that goes out. Is, is it possible to understand that acting is an external, it's a kind of interaction with the external environment? Everything is an interaction. The yes. feeling also is an interaction. The, the input is an interaction with the world that come in. Part Elaboration, of, the thinking, is the interaction of the world that I elaborate the input and the acting is the interaction, interrelation with the world when I elaborate the out output. I let the output go.